Just like no one can deny seeing the beauty of the rainbow, Burmese cats are astonishingly beautiful and they cannot be ignored. These pretty creatures are uniquely different and they can be mind-blowing. The lineage of Burmese cats can be traced back to a single cat and that is a brown female cat named Wong Ma. In 1930, she was imported to San Francisco from Burma. According to the Burmese Cat Club, Wong Ma was bred with Thai Ma, a seal point Siamese, then it was bred back to the males of that litter, and the Burmese breed was off and running. This breed was recognized by the Cat Fanciers Association in 1936 but was surprisingly suspended in 1946 due to extensive outcrossing with Siamese in an effort to increase the breed's numbers. After three generations of pure Burmese litters was successfully recorded, the breed's recognition was then restored in 1954. Meanwhile, the European Burmese was being developed in the 1940s, mostly through crossbreeding Tonkinese, Siamese, and a few American Burmese who had been imported. By 1952, the breed was sufficiently established to gain recognition from the United Kingdom's Governing Council of the Cat Fancy and today, most European and Commonwealth countries raise Burmese to the British standard. Burmese cats are of two types, the American Burmese and the European Burmese. Though, they originated from the same stock and most cat registries do not consider them to be different breeds genetically, there are still distinct differences between the American Burmese and the European Burmese. The European Burmese is the more slender of the two. It has a wedge-shaped head, small pointed ears, and almond-shaped eyes. On the other hand, the American Burmese is stockier with a wider head and ears slightly wider at the base than the Europeans and eyes that are more rounder and expressive. This breed is one that is round all over. It has round eyes, ears, chin, and even feet. It has a short and glossy coat. While the kittens might have darker shading on their points, the adults do not have it as shading disappears with age. Burmese cats had colors like blue, lilac, and fawn. Currently, blue, chocolate, solid brown, red, and cream, as well as a tortoise shell pattern on the base of a brown, are the colors of Burmese recognized by the British standard. While the Cat Fanciers Association standard still recognizes Burmese only in blue, champagne, solid sable, and platinum. They are loving, playful, and highly social. They sometimes express some tendencies which have been described as dog-like. In the same vein, they tend to develop a strong loyalty bond with humans and they want to spend as much time as possible around people. It is pretty difficult not to like Burmese cats immediately. They are incredibly social to humans and have the ability to learn quickly to play interactive games like fetch or tag. Also, they make excellent ambassadors for people who claim not to love cats. Younger Burmese are active, curious, and they adapt easily to changes. They are good climbers and jumpers who deserve cat trees and perches. As they get older, they sometimes become too placid, and rather than participate in activities, they prefer to watch. They enjoy looking at the world around them. Thus, the window might end up being their favorite place as it affords them the opportunity to observe the world outside. They are very comfortable with other Burmese, but you cannot be so sure that they would get along well with other breeds. Their nutrition has to be watched in order to avoid obesity. They cherish being adored by their parent and their stomach rubbed and being pet. It is very necessary to have a daily petting session with Burmese cats. They abhor isolation and may develop stress behaviors if left alone for a long time. They do well around other cats and in the company of humans too, including children. These cats are very bright cats that enjoy performing for their own people. Like all other cats, their nails need to be trimmed regularly and their litter box kept clean. The fact that they have super short coats and they have barely experienced shedding makes it easy to groom them. They should be rarely brushed and bathed except for a little combing during the traditional shedding seasons in the spring and fall. Yet, it should be fairly light in those periods too. Apart from your laps, Burmese cats are more likely to favor or cherish sleeping in warm, elevated areas. Ensure you have a cat tree and a hammock for Burmese kittens to curl up in if you bring them home. However, do not expect her to spend all her time asleep. Under no circumstance should they be allowed to go out on their own because Burmese cats love their people so much and are virtually lost without them. It is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They live peacefully with cats and dogs that respects their authority. Also, they love getting attention from children who treat them politely and with respect. They are a fairly healthy breed, but like other cats, there are certain health conditions that they can suffer from. 
these health conditions should be noted by the cat owners. They are at high risk of diabetes mellitus. They can also be susceptible to feline orofacial pain syndrome and genetic hypokalemia, a condition connected to a low potassium level in the blood serum. In many cases, these conditions and many others can be helped through diet. According to Michelle Beck of Buckland Animal Clinic in Omaha, Neb, higher protein diets work well for diabetic cats. A Burmese kitten can cost between $600 and $1,000. The cost can be higher if one is looking for a specific color. The blue Burmese kittens are quite popular. Burmese from well-known breeders can cost more than prices with ranging from $1,200 to $2,500 per kitten. They are basically raised for breeding or cat shows. They have outstanding appearance and performing ability too. So, what do you think about the Burmese cat breed? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested cat owners.